I do feel that there might be a lot more problems associated with this than just, um, you know, the sheer, you know, um, chemistry associated with it, okay? You're not seeing eye to eye. And I do feel that you're giving a lot of yourself in this uh, relationship. This is a card of a woman giving her power away. It's a card of a woman having too high of a hopes and expectation, investing a little bit too much in a relationship that might have uh, faulty foundations, okay? I know that, um, well, this can be, you know, you, male or female, but I'm sensing that for a lot of you, for a lot of you, it's a relationship where you don't really have common ground. You don't have a common sense of direction, okay? The other person might come and go, whoever you're involved with, possibly like another water, another fire sign or another air sign. Oh, I'm getting air, but um, I'm going to say like a water sign, a fire sign, or even an air sign, okay? So the air sign person is pretty much making up all the decisions, making the decisions in the relationship. So you're, you feel like you're losing ground. You feel like you're not in control of it at the same time. If you're involved with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I do feel that there is definitely lack of emotional investment, okay? So there is a situation where, you know, they might make promises, but they, with the best intentions, but it's a page energy, energy so they lack the ability to follow through. In terms of their own life circumstances, I do feel that there are loose ends they themselves need to wrap up. At the same time, this person, the life situation looks a little bit destabilizing. So they might tr hop from place to place. They might have been shuffled around from one area to the next. In the past, too, it seems as if they're not very rooted. They don't have roots. They don't have um, a firm foundation in terms of... I, I feel like an energy where they're perpetually in motion. Like they're always moving from place to place. They're shuffling around all over, possibly all over the world. And because of it, they don't have a very firm foundation, okay? So in terms of what it means to be in a relationship partner, I do feel that deep down they have the best intention to want to offer you stability. But I do feel they're lacking in stability in their own lives. So it's very difficult for them to promise you something that they don't really know on a personal basis how to attain, okay? So that's a little bit problematic. And I do feel just by nature of you know being a, a water sign and you're be you're like the fire sign i do feel there are definitely going to be philosophical um disputes or clashes between the two of you how you want your life versus how this person might want theirs okay so there is a great 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 divide between you and i don't just mean phil um, physically i do feel that even though you might be in close proximity to with one another there's this um, ideological, philosophical rift, cultural divide, upbringing, uh, circumstances, or even like childhood conditioning that you have to overcome in order to be with one another. So it seems to me like it's a great, great rift. And it's hard for one person to try to bridge the distance alone, okay? So give and take is going to be required in order to make this relationship work. In the past position, I do feel that you were trying to move on and unsuccessfully okay so if you're like putting all the emotional investment and all the effort and all the time to bridge that gap I do feel that the other person needs to be let go from your life okay it seems to me like it is a, a lot of wasted effort that you have to really um, be honest with yourself about okay I also feel as well it might have been a situation where, you know, a lot of, um, it, it seems to me like for a lot of you, you're on like a new phase in your life, okay? Or the other person is starting a new phase in their life. They might start a new job situation in which there's travel involved and they're waiting on their company to, you know, finalize the travel details so they know the time frame and then they can discuss with you whether or not you both can be in the same, in a relationship with one another. So I sense that. So either way, you're pretty much left in the dark most of the time and you don't really know how to move forward, okay? So your life is basically contingent upon the life of another person or the decisions of another person. So once again, 
don't give your power away. You know, in love relationships, and I do feel for a lot of you who are in stable relationships, okay, you want to be there and you want to um, accommodate your love partner. But I do feel that this whole situation has you very um, destabilized emotionally, okay? It's, um, you're dealing with frustration. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So if you're in that situation, if you're in that environment, I do feel that, you know, both parties, <coughs> excuse me, might be operating from a place of pure love and pure, you know, um, commitment. But I do sense that uh, life circumstances are throwing you um, opportunities where you kind of have to like learn a great deal about patience and compromise, which is good in general. But um, I do feel that for that small minority of you where you're in stable relationships and you know that this is the one, then it definitely can work, okay? But I do feel a lot of, um, a lot of like just physical distance coming through that might hinder the relationship. I do feel it can work if you're patient with it. And also um, there might be like work situation that might call one or both of you overseas. So I do feel one person is traveling, one person is staying behind, and one person is left in waiting, okay? So it's uh, it's something that you're going to have to grapple with. So these are ma there are major important life decisions coming through, especially for those of you who are coupled up. I do feel this is going to test the strength of your relationship, whether or not, you know, the other person... Um, is the right one for you and whether what it is that you're willing to sacrifice in order to have the other person in your life and more than anything you want to examine what it is that the other person is willing to sacrifice in order to have you in theirs okay so there has to be a balance in the give and take and I do feel that you know unfortunately when it comes to work a lot of us are traveling like internationally for work nowadays so this is a situation where you have to really address and be honest with yourself and your partner likewise has to do the same whether or not this relationship can stand or withstand the, the test of time and the test of, you know, external circumstances interfering with the relationship. I do feel interference coming through. So whether or not the relationship can withstand, I, you know, all these um, challenges from the external environment, that is definitely to be revealed in the next month but I do sense uh, at the same time you know who it is that you're with okay if the relationship has been rocky and you're going back to it obviously I don't feel that's going to work if the other person is coming back through to you or they're coming back into your life once more mainly because they're kind of like um, encountering a situation where their company might send them overseas for example then I do feel that um, they're grasping at straws and they're, you know, they're contacting you as a last resort. So this is something you want to be careful about, okay? Don't get sucked in with exes who are on a major threshold in their life and they're not willing to let go mainly because they're afraid of change, okay? So that's never a good thing to go back to. I also sense that for a lot of you, there might be a situation where you're changing homes, you're switching your work environment, okay? There is a, an element of commute and travel associated with it as well. So if you are traveling, for example, to meet up with a lover, I don't feel there are travel delays, but I do feel that at the end of it, it might prove to be um, unsatisfying, okay? For whatever reason, I do feel for a lot of the, uh, for a lot of you, there might be news coming at the end of the travel arrangement, where your partner is telling you, "Oh, I might have to move again," or your partner is coming to see you, and you know you spend like a great time together, but at the end of it, you have to be honest with yourself whether or not the relationship can really work. So I do feel some disheartening news with the tower coming at the end of a travel situation, okay? So it could be you coming to see a lover or it could be a lover coming to see you, but I do feel like some sense of um, destabilizing situation coming through as a result of it. You're going to have to make up your mind whether or not you want to continue um, having this person could possibly be a work situation where you're traveling, commuting for work, and you're going to have to decide, you know, if the work partnership or the work situation is worth the headache, okay? Because I do feel for the um, second half of the month, the majority of you have pretty much made a decision by the second, well, by the first full week or the second full week of the month. And then towards the end of the month, the second half of the month, excuse me, 
towards the end of the month, you are going to be in a situation where you're second guessing whether or not you've made the right decisions. Whatever your gut instincts tell you, like the very first half of the month, go with that, okay? Because that's basically the truth. That's the path that you're supposed to be headed on. And towards the end of the month, that's when we have Mercury in retrograde, when we are not at our best in terms of our mental faculties. So intuition might be a little bit misguided. People might make promises that they don't follow through. So trust your first instinct and trust your main intuition and don't second guess yourself by the second half of this month. Because I do feel a lot of you might be in situations Especially for those of you who are um, uh, emotionally involved with like a fire sign woman, okay? Especially a fire sign woman. So regardless of your sexual orientation, if you are involved with a fire sign woman, I do feel that um, there's an element of somebody flip-flopping here. You know, like um, being indecisive uh, and trying to decide what is the best course of action. And then, of course, that fire sign woman is just... Um, She's giving her power away and then she's waiting on, you know, to, to make really important life decisions. But she's waiting on the decision of another person in order to make important life decisions for herself, which seems a little bit sketch. So you want to be a little bit careful about this situation. Um, I do feel for a lot of you, there might be a situation where, you know, once again, we have the chariot and the six of swords, which indicates to me travel, especially travel by water and by land. I'm also sensing here that, um, yeah, definitely unfavorable news coming through as a result at the end of a travel opportunity. And we have also the Eight of Cups, which indicates to me a relationship where, you know, both parties can still love one another a great deal, but life circumstances are, are driving people apart. And I do feel like geographical distance has a lot to do with it because we have two travel cards. Both parties might be separated by, you know, work situations that drive them apart, okay? So it's um, it's a little bit of a sad reading. I apologize for this, Leo, but I do sense that um, if for the second half of the month, if you have exes, people from your past cycling through, I do feel that it is going to be able to test the strength of your relationship, okay? So... If you're already in established relationships and exes are siphoning through, I don't feel that the exes are going to make the cut, so just be very careful about that. If you are single, I do feel exes are coming through. If you are single and dating, I do sense that um, there's an element of um, dating outside of your geographical location. It might look, it might be favorable, and usually with the lovers and the tower, even though they're kind of far apart, I do feel that there is an element of um, very strong physical attraction, kind of like love at first sight type of situation, where you're not really sure why, but you feel a very strong either physical attraction or a very strong emotional attachment to another person that you might not know very well, okay? So it's, um, it's a very like faded type of relationship or faded type of meeting in which you're seeing eye to eye with someone you just recently met. So it's a beautiful energy. In terms of longevity of that relationship, that's to be determined because we do have the star card in the reverse position. So for those of you who are trying to like um, get things off the ground with a new relationship where there is strong magnetism, and attraction. Take it slow and don't be hasty. Don't jump to conclusions and don't plan your life too far in advance when you've just met this person, okay? For those of you who are, you know, um, kind of like feeling a little bit stuck and a little bit uh, fed up with their current uh, geographical location, current work situation, or just feeling like a general dissatisfaction with where your life is headed and you're thinking about implementing a big drastic change either relocating to another place or you know uh, starting a new path for yourself I do feel that if you were planning to do that and if this has some, been something that's brewing since like August then that's fine take that first and you know and take that initiative to change your life but if it's something that you're thinking, oh, I'm so fed up, I have to move out right now and I have to do it, you know, towards the end of this month, um, sleep on that a little bit, okay? Because the month, once again, the end of the month is bringing about Mercury in retrograde where you might ha not have all the answers that you need in order to make informed decisions, okay? So be very careful. Be careful of all exes coming back in. And I do feel, especially for those of um, you with exes who are telling you, oh, you know, 
let's give it one more try because I am, you know, moving away very, very soon. Don't fall for that. And usually that's never going to work. It's because they're coming back in because they have this um, new, really, you know, destabilizing change happening in their lives. And they don't really know how to do it on their own. So they're coming to you for the emotional support. Okay, either way, that's an, a very unequal relationship. And you don't want to get involved in that. Okay, I'm actually going to pull out one more card because we are ending up with two reverse cards. Okay, and also the Queen of Rods, which is you. It's also in the reverse position. So I do want to see what it's in reference to. So let's see if this situation can have a fruitful outcome. Okay, so separation, okay? Separation is definitely inevitable here. So I do feel in this situation, if it is, um, you know, if you're, you're making a choice whether or not to leave a lover because there's some sense of um, geographical distance associated with it. And um, if you're not sure about whether or not to make up or break up, I do feel that some important decisions are going to have to come through as to whether or not you're willing to do the long distance or whether or not you're willing to make, if your partner is willing to sacrifice, whether or not you're willing to do the same. So either way, I do feel a little bit of a separation is imminent. This, of course, is not going to apply to all parties because I do feel if it's not like emotional distance, it's going to be physical distance coming through for you and your partner, okay? So unfortunately, Leos, I do feel that, you know, we got off to a fruitful start with the lovers and the chariot. But then the rest of the energies are telling me that in general that it might be a little bit of a destabilizing month. So don't start new relationships, especially towards the end of the month. Start it at the beginning and then see where it takes you. And don't, um, don't fall head over heels in love too fast for this month. And I f do feel that is one danger associated with the tower and the lover's card in the same spread. Because it indicates to me, you know, like premature infatuation. In general and it also um, indicates to me that you might not have all the information you know up front and information is going to be revealed to you throughout the month and you're going to have to make a decision here okay so have a wonderful month regardless I do feel that um, well if you are relocating for a lot of you for work the work situation itself looks very very stable okay if you're relocating by the end of the month it's not looking too great and unfortunately there might be a situation where you have to cycle back through to a previous employment situation as well um, because it's, it's proving to be more stable and it gives you more uh, emotional fulfillment than the new thing that you just started okay so that's the danger coming through for you as well on the work front okay so be very clear about what it is that you are willing to sacrifice on and what who it is that you're willing to make these sacrifices for and whether or not if the shoe you know if the situation had been reversed if they're willing to do the same for you okay so that's an important thing to keep in mind for this month take care of yourself for September don't rush things and take things extra slow and don't give your power away, okay? I will talk to you soon and have a wonderful um, rest of September. I also want to say one last thing. There might be some health-related issues coming through with mothers for a lot of you. Um, I do feel it is going to be your mother, okay? So your mother. So um, call your mom, get in contact with her and, you know, I do feel a, a little bit of a health slump coming through as well, okay? Or maybe she's due for surgery or something like that that you're aware of. So give her a call and get in touch, okay? Even if you've had um, a falling out in the past, I do feel that she might need you at this point, okay? Courage is a little bit lacking on her end, okay? So get her out of this situation. If For those of you who, whose moms might be not at, um, at their you know, physical best, all right? So take care of yourself.